hell's going on, guys? What's up, Mason? All right, so we've been having some issues with the uh, with the single cab. It's been overheating. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to take off the the radiator. It has a leak. Yeah. So it's been leaking. I put some um, some JB Weld uh, plastic or whatever. But it's still it's still leaking. Once it gets hot, it just leaks out of here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and take take the radiator off. I gotta take all these clips out. Bunch of crap. Right, let me get a let me get something to take them off with. Putting some electric fans a while back. We took off the the fan with the clutch. And it goes right there. It keep it keeps it a lot cooler with these electric fans. Um, what I'm gonna do here in a minute? I gotta take this hose to the reservoir. The bottom radiator hose. And then these lines right here, I got this one, and then I got that one. I got this one, and I got that one. And then I got the upper radiator hose on this side. And I think that should be it. Right there is the uh, drain plug. So what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to turn it so I can uh, drain whatever rest of the coolants in here oh yeah take these uh these fans out I don't know if they can fix it or not I guess I can take it to the shop here in town maybe I can call I'm gonna call in the morning see if they can fix it if they can fix it fine if not I'll just order one that bottom this bottom line right here yeah, this one. His hair to come out, but uh, a little bit of muscle, elbow grease, how they say it, and some vice grip pliers. Just wiggle it, and they come out. That's what she said. Um, but in all, yes, I. I'll see what they say tomorrow, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so um, we actually went to go, uh, or not went, We uh, I called and see if they can fix this. They said they couldn't fix it because these little tanks right here are plastic and they can't fix plastic. So what happened was I had, um, I had to order a new one. Uh, there it is right there, it came in already. This one was like... Ninety dollars or close to ninety dollars on eBay came came like that already. So hopefully it's it's good. Um, but at the place where they fix them, they said they can give me one for like two hundred and thirty forty dollars. I say hell no. Nah. So um, I'm open it up and hopefully it's but it's, it works. I 
and the I believe these are made in the uh, USA. Pretty nice. Man, you can't beat that for, for $90. So pretty much all I got to do is take those uh, those fans off of that one and install them on, on the new one. Now... Those these Fords, they actually don't come with uh, they don't come with electric fans. I adapted that on there. I took the uh, the regular fan with the clutch off and installed these. these I believe these were like fifty dollars. The fuck was that? Like fifty dollars on eBay for both of them. And man, they work pretty damn good. don't have any clips I'm gonna go get the clips. Okay, so now we got to put these little tabs on here. That's how you install those electric fans and then just one ground and then the other one go you can install one to your ground and then one to your ignition so whenever you turn on your uh, truck they come on all right so let me try to install this
so once you you put it in there there's some bushings in the in the very bottom where you got to put your um, these little things the ones on the bottom you got to put them in there on, on the bottom and then just put these brackets on top Bam! This wash right here or run into one's running to the uh, ignition and one to the ground so let me, let me put time together when you turn the key on they're supposed to suck air out of the uh, out of the radiator So it's blowing air this way or sucking air this way out of the radiator. If these were on the opposite side, they would have to blow air that way. So like over here there's there's no air, it's just sucking sucking the air out of the radiator right there. So that's the way they're supposed to be wired. I'm gonna put some tape on it and then I can start hooking up the hose. This one right here, this one's what came on it. And this is the one that we need to put on it. So I'll take this one off, put this one on. And it works. So let me put the lines in now. Alright, so... Everything's back on there. Everything's back on here. Uh, this, I changed those fittings so I can hook up the lines. Yeah, I changed, I changed these fittings. So I can put the line back on. On both of them hook up the electric fans hook up the top radiator hose and the bottom radiator hose and now it's time to put some water in here now I need to put the filter back on now it's gonna turn off when I turn it on Alright, so the filter's on. Let me turn it on. So let's put the heater on. Put 
some more water in it. Running pretty cold right there. So we're gonna let it sit for about, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so and see what it does. All right guys, so I actually drove it for about, about a good 20 minutes and the temperature's still colder than what it needs to be. It's supposed to be halfway, like somewhere up up here and it's down here, but that's that's cool. Yeah, it don't matter if it's running a little colder. Uh, it's running a little colder because of the electric fans. So, that's what it is. She's running pretty good. <laughs> 